Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. In this video, I want to do an example of calculating total apparent power in a three-phase Y-connected balanced circuit, similar to a motor, something that would have the same power factor per phase as well. So, we're going to go ahead and put in a nice easy power factor of 0.866, which works out to a phase angle of 30 degrees. And what that means is the voltage of each one of these loads, the phase voltage, or more accurately, the phase current, would lag the phase voltage by 30 degrees because they're inductors. So we're going to go ahead and figure out what is the line current slash phase current, because they're the same thing in each one of these, uh, these phases here. So Ohm's law, we have a 120-208 volt system. So our phase voltage is our 120 volt multiplied by root 3 is our line voltage of 208. We're going to work with the phase voltage. 120 volts per phase divided by 12 ohms of impedance per phase gives us 10 amps per phase, which also equates to 10 amps per line. So with this number, we can go over. We're going to build one power triangle because we're going to take a look at some of the formulas that we hashed out in the last video. I'm going to build a power triangle like this. And I know that if I take I phase times the voltage of the phase, what that'll give me is the apparent power of the phase. So 120 volts times 10 amps gives me 1200 VA. And I can plot that right here. S equals 1200 VA. I also know that each one of these loads has a power factor of 0.866, which when I run the numbers, 1200 VA times the power factor or times the cos of the angle, which is 0.866, will give me a power of 1039.2 watts of power per phase. And if I was to use Pythagorean theorem, or I could do 1200 divided by the sine of this angle, which works out to be 30. I would end up 1200 squared minus 1039.2 squared. The square root of that answer should give me my reactive power of 600.4 bars. There's my reactive power. And because each one of these is exactly the same, they have the same power factor, same line current, or so well, same line current, same phase current, same phase voltage, I'm going to end up with three identical power triangles. And in the previous video, we said that we could add all power together to get a total power, and that's true. And we could add all reactive power and get a total reactive power, and that's true. And in this particular example as well, we could take all of our apparent power and add those up as well. I'm going to save a little bit of time, and I'm just going to do this. Power total equals 1039.2 times 3. It's like adding it three times. Q total equals 600.4 times 3 and apparent power 1200 VA times 3. And we end up with a new circuit triangle that should be exactly the same shape. It's the same power factor as my individual phase. So we should end up with 3117.6 watts is my power total. My reactive power total should work out to 1801.2 uh, bars and my 1200 times 3 we should see 3600 VA which if you run the math if you do the adjacent over the hypotenuse again we should end up with the exact same 8 or 0.866 rather power factor which again these angles should match up 30 degrees 30 degrees okay the last thing I want to do is look at the last power formula that we looked at in the last video where we said this. We said that S total was equal to E line times I line times root 3. Okay, we're going to run the numbers and see if this works out. We know that E line to a weight volt. So 208 volts times I line of 10 amps times root 3 and it should work out. Running these numbers should give you 
pretty close to the same number. I think in this case it works out to about 3,602 VA, but we're close enough when we're dealing with numbers this high, rounding throws things off, lots of stuff can throw it off. So hopefully this helps apply some of the formulas that we looked at in the previous video, okay? And again, if you were to work with an unbalanced circuit, this would not work. You could still build three individual power triangles and add up your power and your reactive power, but your VA would have to be calculated individually per triangle, and we can't add those up because they would be at different angles. Again, this is for balanced, same power factor, so something like a motor or something like that. Again, hopefully this helps, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.